enjoying the 50s tomorrow. No question. Mid to upper 50s, we will take it, my yes. friend. Thank you, sir. Well, it might not be jogging weather to most people. Uh, but cold weather is not stopping that young man you see in the shadow there. He's running for more than just exercise. Wait until you hear the story. The countdown has begun. Only a few more hiring weeks left. Half the price of a new one. Don't miss Quantrill Cadillac. Cadillac season's best event. Only We don't have to remind you how cold it is outside, but just imagine running in it all day. One 14-year-old Mount Sterling boy is. He's running from Louisville to Lexington for his friend who is battling brain cancer. ABC 36's Amber Kriska caught up with him in Versailles. I've gone about 40. When we caught up with 14-year-old Seth Thorpe, he had run about 40 miles. And with the sun setting, he has 40 more to go. I've stumbled here and there. Thorpe continues to run. Just determination. Determination to keep running for his friend, 13-year-old Richie Hargrove. The Lexington teen was diagnosed with brain cancer in April. He's had surgery more than once. He does football and he hasn't been able to do football as much. Thorpe wanted to do something. I've had family in the hospital and Fox Thorpe, he's my brother. He's been in the hospital a lot. I remember how stiff the times were. I just want to help out because people helped out when he was in trouble. So he sent letters to local businesses and friends. See if they could pay me a dollar per mile. As the harsh wind blows in his face and his muscles start to give up, Thorpe reminds himself he's running for Richie. He's my age and his family are both working parents over mine. And with the fines and the ends of me, it just means a lot to me. In Versailles, Amber Kriska, ABC 36 News. Well, in total, and remember, he's only 14 years old, he's going to be running about 80 miles. If you would like in more information on Run for Richie, we will have that on our website later this evening. Just go to WTVQ.com. You know, every week, we have a smaller and smaller number of high school football teams still alive. The playoffs continue. The best action next in the High School Highlight Reel.